Hey good people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 1M here. Right now I'm doing series of reviews. Ah, <laughs> jaws hurt, you know, like jaws, you know, they hurt. And I'm trying to uh, like refresh myself once in a while, but because my throat is getting a bit dry and stuff like that. Okay, so this is the last video for the day. And this is going to be a fragrance uh, comparison battle. Okay, I have done this before between the three variants, the EDT, EDP and Parfum. But I have both the versions. I've been wearing them for a very long time. And I just want to give you my final take and comparison sort of which one is for you, which one's better, which one better performer, value, or if there any real difference are they redundant to have like both, uh, let you know, okay? So today's battle is Dior Sauvage EDT versus EDP. Massive 200 ml bottles, I think. This is as big as they make them, okay? So their uh, prices are expensive. Dior is expensive, 85 to $100, depending on where you are. Uh, you cannot have these super uh, discounted because the fragrances Dior and Chanel, they don't discount their fragrances that much and you have to buy them from their showroom, okay, or outlet. So I had this EDT. Uh, let me talk about EDT first. And I'll compare a little bit with the Bloody Chanel, which I'm not going to show today, but we'll talk about it. Uh, this is a fragrance. Uh, it came out somewhere in 2016 or 15, I think 15 or 16. And I was so into Dior Intense, Fahrenheit. I was more into those, you know, like Eau Sauvage. But when this one came out, I didn't think much for it, you know, much of it, you know, because I bought a 60 ml bottle in KL, you know, like Kuala Lumpur. Uh, these were expensive, you know, like if you pay retail, retails are expensive. 60 ml little bottle cost me like uh, $67 to $70, okay? Uh, yeah, $67. And I was like, okay, I was happy with it. I did not think much of it. I did not like it that much. It was very simplistic perfume compared to what we had before. Dior Intense is a masterpiece. You guys know that. Compared to that, this is basically boo, yawn, you know. So the thing is, I learned to like it the most because when I got back to Bangladesh 2016, this fragrance was enormous. The performance was beastly. People look like this. You know, sometimes you feel you're not wearing anything, but people smell you, you know. So the 2016, uh, I started liking Dior Sauvage EDT. And uh, I upgraded 200 ml bottle. Then I started buying 200 ml. So I went through three bottles. Uh, so long story short, that is Dior Sauvage became... One of my favorite go-to guy for every day when it's like a dumb rich situation you're rushing you don't know what what to wear this one fragrance does everything okay and it was people see inspired by blood chanel you guys know this but i'm just still saying it to compare uh, but i really feel blood chanel was a better fragrance in terms of smell but that is even more expensive than this one so price bracket wise this one is more practical it does give you a nice again they also have their metal uh, like magnetic top really nice cylindrical bottles so sprayer is very beautiful, nice little mist, shoots a lot. So I really like uh, Christian Dior Savage, but it's not a masterpiece, okay? It's an everyday man scent. And then after that, they released a lot of YSL, YDP, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, Light Blue, you know, same style coach. Uh, uh, no, not coach. Yeah, they have a coach for men. I have a 200 ml of that. Then there was a Prada Luna Rosa, um, Carbon, right? So many fragrances came out, but only one fragrance I really loved over this one was YSL YDP, okay? And I'll tell you still, today, like smell-wise, I preferred the smell of this one, okay? Even though my bottle is running low, I have to buy a new bottle. And then also I liked uh, price value-wise, I did like Cool Water Intense as well. So that's the history with Dior Sauvage, but whenever I take a break from it, I get bored of it, I get take a break from it one month. When I come back, when I spray it, I smell it, I'm like, the Calibrian Bergamo, you know, that pepper, like a uh, Sichuan pepper or something, pepper using it. It's a kind of like a synthetic, like a, it smell like a laboratory fragrance, like it's not most natural, but you like it, you know, after a long break. So that's Dior Sauvage for you. Then what happened was Dior Sauvage did release EDP. And based on the hype of this, I knew this was coming. Then they released Parfum. I did not like the Parfum. EDP was good, but I sold my bottle because I was not wearing it. Okay. Then recently I got the EDP. So after a long talk, uh, out of the two let's start the comparison price wise edt is a little bit more affordable compared to this if you are uh, going to buy edp it's going to cost you 20 30 dollars more which is a lot of dollars uh, second thing is uh, they are both long lasting performance wise i get excellent longevity from both your summer edp is not reformulated one good thing edt is rumors like has it or what is what is the term uh, people say your Sauvage has been uh, reformulated, not as beast, not as before. I have no issue with performance with either one. But major difference. Two, first difference, your Sauvage EDT projects a lot more than EDP. 
okay projection power is this is uh, surprisingly stronger but then again edts are more brighter than edps edps are brighter than a farm so more you go deeper they last longer perhaps but do not project that much so edt is the way to look if you like projection beast second thing edt is more versatile all year round edp is i feel cooler nights rainy nights winter time this is a boss okay so those are basic differences and the thing smell wise is there a significant difference when you, you smell them on paper if you give them to a layman or like a person who has no clue on perfume they cannot pick up any differences maybe they can but i feel they will say this is the same perfume just that this is a little bit more sweeter okay which this is this smells more mature version of dior sauvage less peppery less aggressive and more rounded creamier my dear brother shafi bhai said he likes this one a lot okay this one gives him great performance this is something i would think people can wear with a suit dior sauvage you can do but people will not take you that seriously because this is very common dna and uh, the aggressiveness it's kind of like a youthful teenager vibe edp 30 plus you know like if you ask me 20s sabaj edt 30s sabaj edp so those are basic difference i pick up but uh, more reachable is your sabaj edt that's more popular because this has been in the market for a very long time and this is more affordable so people uh, do not think edp is better because it's more pricey right but i think okay here's the thing total overall champion edt okay hands down edt is a better value cheaper uh, same longevity better projection but why there is a comparison event so where does edp stand that's the most important question your savage is a 10 out of 10 every day uh, easy to grab on the best like a dumb rich fragrance but where does edp stand this one i'll give it 9 out of 10 okay if that one is 10 this is 9 why is it 9 despite being not a super projector this has some notes i really feel let me just spray a little bit let me just remind myself Look at the sprayer again, okay? Okay? And it's care, be, uh, watch, watch out for fakes. A lot of fakes. Their sprayers are not good. And then the caps, you know, not really strong. The magnet and everything. A lot of fakes out there. So make sure you buy from legit source. This fragrance is, in my humble opinion, this one can battle Bleu de Chanel EDP. If we talk about Bleu de Chanel, I do think Bleu de Chanel EDP is so good. It's so good. Bleu de Chanel EDP, just let me get it for you. Yeah, sorry, I wanted to get the Blue Edition ADP uh, because my bottle is running low. I have to buy a bottle. I had 150 ml. This bottle, it's uh, like a magic. If you ask me which one is the blood, best Blue Edition L, it's not the ADT. It's the ADP. Not the Parfum. Parfum is great, but again, super overpriced. This right in the middle is a masterpiece. I love the grapefruit in this, the incense. There is some sort of like a poshness about it. But if you ask me, something can uh, give a good run to their like money or something like that, you know, give them a good contest would be EDP. So they go head to head, same class. They are both equally good, okay? Uh, smell wise, perhaps this is better, but this is more pricey than this. For 150 ml, it's more pricey than 200 ml of Savoir GDP. Yeah, you heard that right. So value wise, if it's very hard to beat the Savoir GDP. If you want to get more up class version, you like the same DNA of uh, Savage, you just want to upgrade it. This is an upgrade, not in terms of projection or performance perhaps, but the smell wise this is a better fragrance more better built got more body to it more maturity to it okay man the sweetness of this is just uh, less synthetic doesn't burn my nose just love that about it okay so savar gdp is a winner but scent wise i like this more okay so do check it out dear savar gdp perhaps for one more reason it's not reformulated okay so check out the parfum check out the cool spray they're all good but savar edt is overall champion if you talk about the total points added you know this is gonna get more points from me but edp is not far off better fragrance but more pricey thanks very much for watching have a nice day i'll see you soon bye bye